beauty means to me being comfortable in your own skin, accepting whatever flaws you have, accepting whatever that makes you unique and just being happy with it. There was a boy in primary school and he mm, came up to me and he said, you never bathe and you never wash your face. That's why all the lalat come and poop on your face. So then I cried. I went home and I cried and I said to my mom, I said, you know, I never wash my face because I was constantly washing and washing. And she said, what's wrong with you? I said, this boy said, the lalat poop on my face so much because I never wash my face. And then she said, no, they're called freckles. It's hereditary. Your grandma had it, your aunts have it. I said, no, 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 cannot. I had to, I was trying to get rid of it. And then from one boy, it became a whole bunch of boys and it became girls. And then that's when I realised that yes, at that point, there was something wrong with me, I thought. And then um, my dad was the one that said, you know, it's okay, it's different, you're different, but that's what makes you special. So, the, of course, you don't listen to your dad, you're thinking you're biased. And then I had an auntie who said to me, it's okay, it's okay. When the boys tease you, just say, actually, freckles are angels' kisses. And then when they come closer, you just kiss them. Then when you kiss them, they will run away. They'll never disturb you again. So then, you know, she put humour into it and then it sort of came up sometimes and people would tease, kids would tease and then you sort of just said, okay, whatever, there's something wrong. And then you grow up and then you go into, um, you know, the pharmacy and they come up to you and say, oh, we have something for that. Or, you know, to, to lighten it or to get rid of it. Or there's someone that says, hey, you know, there's lasers that can help you remove that. But after a while, you're thinking, well, I was thinking, I sat down and I thought, actually, everybody else has a problem with this. I don't. I really don't. And then it sort of became a thing where friends were around me, especially the guys. My guy friends are very sportive. So they would say things like, eh, hey, freckles. Eh, hey, Farah. Eh, hey, freckles. So it's always Farah's freckles. Then it, it became a thing, so it stuck. So now everybody just, it's just part of me now, it's who I am. I don't think it hinders me at all, actually. I think it's a great conversation starter. So people will always ask, are you Malay? Uh, are you mixed? And then they'll ask you where your grandma is from. And then they'll ask all the details. Then at the end of the day, you end up making a friend. You know, but they will always start with that. How do we, because people not sure, are not sure how to categorize you. When I was in Australia studying, they weren't sure where I was from. So when I said Malaysia, they're like, yeah, but you have, you know, then you explain that, you know, your grandma, your grandpa, whatever. So I think it's a great conversation starter. Even when you go for work interviews, it, it will always be the same question. I think as um, I've aged, it, it went from being, um, having full coverage to sort of just using a bit of moisturiser and um, tinted moisturiser at most, uh, unless I'm going out at night then you know you'd want to put on a little bit more but I don't put full makeup on anymore um, and I actually like it so I put on the, the minimum unless I'm going for a wedding or, or a night event then I do but I still cannot ever cover my freckles unless I put maybe half a bottle on because it's just too much and dark so um, it's not so much advice but I would think that I would say to people who have freckles that you should just not cover it. You know, you do the concealer thing, of course, if you want to, but I really think that freckles are really cute. I think social media is great in promoting or, you know, ex um, sort of exposing you to different kinds of definitions of beauty. Um, I do think that I've, I, I go through social media a lot to look at how people define beauty. Some I don't traditionally think beautiful, but still, you see the beauty in everything. So you can have the darker skin, but still amazingly beautiful. Like, really. So I really think social media has played a big role in, in exposing people to the different kinds of beauty and accepting it as not just the freckles, but everybody. Like, you can have people with curly, curly hair when, you know, they're Chinese, for example. It's just a, an example. Like, I have a friend who is Chinese, but she has curly hair. Of course, it's 
completely out of the norm. But you know, after a while, then she's like, yeah, okay, lah, whatever, lah. You know, because um, yeah, I think it helps a lot, though. Like I was saying, you just sort of have to surround yourself with people who will who will tell you that you're special or who will just make you feel good about yourself. I walked into a pharmacy and this promoter from the other end of the pharmacy, she came right at me and she says, oh, I have something for your freckles to lighten it. And then you can, after a while, it will fade. So I asked her and I said, but I don't have a problem with it, why? Really? She said, you don't want to get rid of it, but it's ugly, you know? And I thought, okay, I could slap her, but then I didn't. So I said, no, thank you very much. I said, maybe you should try and use it yourself. Then I went to the back and I spoke to the pharmacist and I said, you know, you need to train these promoters or at least advise them that if people are looking for the products, then you can promote it. But don't go up to people in public in front of other people and say that you need it because people don't need things, you know, to fix themselves if you want them to sort of be happy with themselves. Because if you're not happy with yourself, today it'll be freckles, tomorrow it'll be something else and then it just doesn't stop. And at the end of the day, there are so much more important, so many more important things in life. I think what I want people to know, especially my niece, is that everything that you feel makes you feel weird, look weird, is actually what makes you special. It's that difference that will make you feel, that will make you special out of everyone else, from everyone else. And I know that it's, see, it's, it takes time to, to sort of embrace whatever that you have but it will get better and it will always you will realize in time that there's so many more important things in life other than you know how you look and the lines and your curly hair your freckles or your dark skin or whatever it is so you know it's just important to be happy to me